welcome to windows for all today our video topic is how to speed up windows 11 so the first way is disable visual effects for this you have to click the search icon type system settings click view advanced system settings click settings from the performance section Click the radio button set before adjust for best performance. Click apply. Then OK to save the changes. That's all for way 1. The next way is disable the startup apps. For this, you have to press Ctrl, Shift and Skip simultaneously. Once the task manager appears, click more details to see its expanded view. Click the startup tab. You can see a list of all startup apps here. Startup apps load out the PC when it is starting. So disable all the apps in the list. This will not affect your system, rather speed up the PC outstandingly. Here I am going to disable Skype. Right click on this, select disable. Do the same for all the unnecessary apps in the list and then restart your Windows 11 and check the efficiency after booted. Moving towards way 3, it's by carrying out disk defragment. For this, you have to press Windows key, type defragment. D E F R A G M E N T. Select Defragment and Optimize Drives. Select C drive if it is system drive on your PC. Click on Optimize. Monitor the percentage and once it reaches to 100%, defragment for that drive is completed. Defragmenting C drive is necessary, but you can also do the same for other drives. At last, close the window, restart your PC to experience speedier Windows 11. Moving to way 4, disable game mode to speed up Windows 11. For this, you have to press Windows plus I. From the setting app home, click gaming. Here it is. Choose game mode from the right pen. Turn off the toggle switch under game mode on the right. Now back on the same page and select Xbox Game Bar. Disable Open Xbox Game Bar using this button. Now restart the windows. Moving towards next way, it's using high performance power plan. For this, you have to click the search icon from the task bar. Type control panel. Hit the enter key. Select power options. Check high performance on the newly opened window. Select it. If you cannot find this option, click create a power plan from the left pen. In the next window, select high performance. Named this as high performance. And then click next. That's all. Next is clean up junks from hard disk drives. 
For this, you have to open the window setting by press Windows key and I simultaneously. Click on System. Select Storage from the right pane. And allow the options to load. Please wait for a while. Okay, now click on temporary files in there. On the next page, allow for some time for scanning the junk files. Wait a little bit. Next, select Recycle Bin, scroll down which you want to delete, Windows Error Reports, Temporary Internet Files, and then click on Remove Files. On the pop-up confirmation, click on Continue. Restart the machine once the process complete. Moving towards way 7, it's by updating applications and driver. For this, you have to place Windows key and R together. In the run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc. Click on OK. When the device manager is up, look for a driver that needs to be updated. Click on device to expand the drivers list. See if any driver is showing yellow warning sign. Mine is not showing, but if yours is showing, right click on that. Select update driver. From the how do you want to search for driver software dialog box, click on search automatically for drivers. Ensure stable internet connection. It's done. Once the driver updating ends, carry out the same process for all the outdated drivers. Finally, restart your windows to make these changes effective. The next way is turning off notifications and tips. For this, you have to open up setting app by pressing Windows and I. Click notifications from the right side. Go to the last part of the next page and turn off both the options. Offer suggestions on how I can set up my device and get tips and suggestions when I use Windows. Turn off this. That's all. Moving to way 9, disabling background apps. For this, you have to click the start. Type CMD. Here the command prompt appears. Click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Copy the command. Here it is. The command is given in description box. Paste it here. Click enter. The operation completed successfully. So yes, now restart your PC to experience the change.
moving towards next way by uninstalling unnecessary programs for this you have to press windows plus r type app with a double p w i z dot c p l click on ok uninstall all unnecessary or less necessary apps for this right click on it select uninstall click on remove once confirmation prompt appears restart your windows once the process ends moving to way 11 run disk cleanup to speed up windows 11 for this you have to click start type c l e a n m g r press enter on disk cleanup drive selection window click on ok on the next window click clean up system files again on drive selection window select ok after a while you will see disk cleanup for c window this will take some minutes please wait for a while some more moments please now check all the boxes under files to delete delete section click on ok hit delete files Restart the device after disk cleanup ends. That's all. Moving towards next way by eliminating boot menu timeout. For this, you have to press Windows key. Type Advanced System Settings. Hit the Enter key. Click settings from the startup and recovery area in the next window. Here it is. Click settings from this section. Uncheck the box before time to display recovery options when needed. This one. Uncheck this. Click on OK. And that's all. The next way is disabling start menu transparency. For this, you have to press Windows key and I. From setting app, click personalization. Select colors from the right side. Turn off the switch under transparency effects. That's all for way 13. The next way is enable storage cells. For this, you have to press Windows plus I. From the setting app home, click on system. From the right side pane, choose storage. Turn on the switch for storage cells. Here it is. Turn it on. If you want to customize the setting, click the arrow of the storage cells block. 
turn the switch off for automatic user content cleanup. You can turn this off. You can also do click the drop down under run in storage cells. Delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over. And uh, delete files in my downloads folder if they have not been open for more than. And select your preferable number of days. That's all. Moving to wave 15, it's by run performance troubleshooter. For this, you have to right click on the start. Select run. Now you have to enter a command. You have to copy this. You will get this command in the description box. Paste it here. Click on OK. Once the troubleshooter wizard comes in, click on Next. Click on Try Troubleshooting as an Administrator. It's done. Close it and restart once the tool finished the task. The next way is delete temporary files regularly. For this, you have to press Windows plus R together. Type percentage T E M P percentage. Click on OK. Now press Ctrl plus A, right click on it and delete all the files in the tab folder. Click on continue. Wait for a while. Click on cancel. Now press Windows plus R once again. This time type temp T E M P. Hit the enter key. Select all the items in the recent folder. Right click on it and select delete. Skip, skip, and close. That's all for Way 16. Apart from the above methods, Windows 11 stored different types of cache into different folders for the convenience of users. But when cache becomes large, it affects the performance of Windows 11. So you need to clear the cache in the following ways. So the next way is clear file explorer history. For this, you have to click the file explorer icon from the taskbar. On open file explorer window, click these three dots and select the options icon. A folder options wizard opens up. Go to the lower part and click on clear button. Here it is. That's all. The next is through clear Microsoft Store cache. For this, you have to open the run dialog box by clicking Windows plus R together. Type in capital W S R in small letter E S E T dot E X E. Click on OK. I'm sure you'd not get more problems later after using the above different tips to reset the cache on Windows 11. That's it. The next way is through delete location history. For this, you have to click on the Windows key, go into the settings app, 
click privacy and security look for location here it is click on this scroll down and press clear under location history that's all moving towards the next way by clearing clipboard data for this you have to press windows key plus i the system page appears go to the right pane and find for clipboard here it is double click on this Here you can see the clear clipboard data. Just to the adjacent and click on clear. That's all. The next way is by deleting diagnostic data. For this, press Windows plus I. Click Privacy and Security. Click on Diagnostic and Feedback. Now from the Delete Diagnostic Data, from this drop down, click on Delete. Moving towards next by clearing Microsoft Edge Browser Cache. For this, you have to open Edge Browser from either the taskbar or Start menu. Here it is. Press three dots in a horizontal line from the top right portion. Here it is. Select Settings from the drop down. Click on Privacy, Search and Services. Here it is. Now scroll down. And choose what to clear here it is under clear browsing data you will see this choose what to clear select this check the box that refers to cache data and files click on clear now moving towards the next way and it's the last one by clearing start menu lifestyle cache so first of all you have to press the windows key type regedit r e g e d i t hit the enter key select yes to give your consent when a usc dialog prompts up now select h key current user double click on this double click on software Double click on Microsoft. Now scroll down and look for Windows. Double click on this. Double click on current version. Scroll down and look for immersive shell. Here it is. Double click on this. Now double click on State Store. You will find here 2D words. 
reset cache and reset cache count double click on reset cache and set its value 1 click on ok and reboot your computer to make the changes effective for more such videos please subscribe our channel and share this video as much as you can with your friends and near ones who might help need of it and uh, also hit the bell icon to get instant notification of our published videos thank you